perform the indicated operation, write the answer in scientific notation. Exercise A, we have 4 times 1.7 times 10 to the 8th. Well, using commutative properties, or so really associative properties, this is the same as 4 times 1.7 times 10 to the 8th. And I'm going to use the associative property to group together the 4 times the 1.7. Now 4 times 1.7 is 6.8. So then this is the same thing as 6.8 times 10 to the 8th, or just you know using the normal notation for scientific, 6.8 times 10 to the 8th. Exercise B, we have 6 times 7 times 10 to the 24th. So again, that's 6 times 7.0 times 10 to the 24th. And again, I'll group together the 6 times 7. Now 6 times 7 is 42. So then that's 42 times 10 to the 24th. You might say, well, is that scientific notation? Well, recall in scientific notation, well, that's that a times 10 to the mth power, and the a needs to be between 1 and 10. It can be exactly 1, but it must be less than 10. Is 42 between 1 and 10? And it's not. So we can't leave it here. This is not scientific notation. So what we'll do is we'll take that 42 and convert it to scientific notation. So 42 is, well there's my decimal point for the 42, and so what I'll do is I'll move it to the left and I'll rewrite that as 4.2 times 10 to the first power. And I still have that 10 to the 24th power that's being multiplied, and now using the product rule for exponents, I have 10 to the first times 10 to the 24th, that would give me 4.2 times 10 to the 25th power. Three point four times 10 to the 14th divided by five. All right, so let's see. That would be the same as 3.4 over 5, and then times 10 to the 14th over 1, if we really wanted to think of that 1 being there. Now 3 to the 4th, I'm sorry, 3.4 divided by 5, if you go through the arithmetic, that's 0.68. So we'd have 0 0.68 times 10 to the 14th. And we say, well, is that scientific notation? And it's not. It's not scientific notation because 0 0.68 is less than 1. And in scientific notation, that A has to be between 0 and 1. So we will move the decimal to between the 6 and the 8. So that gives us then 6.8 times 10, well let's see, uh, 0.68 is pretty close to 0, so that's going to get a negative exponent on the 10. I moved the decimal one place, so that's 10 to the negative first, times 10 to the 14th. And again here I'm multiplying numbers with the same base, base 10, negative 1 plus 14 is 13, so 6.8 times 10 to the 13th power.